I'm back with a tutorial on how to get free plants. So I found these boxwood shrubs at a local big box home improvement store and there were three in each package. So I am uh, separating them out and I thought I'd show you how I do that. So let's get started. Okay, so ignore my mess. I've already been working. Um, here's, here's the boxwood. So we have clearly one, two, three on each of these and they're pretty good size. I'd say they're over a foot tall. And again, on this one, one, two, and three. And these were, how much were they? $24.98 for each one. So you're getting three plants for $25 and they look great, they look healthy. I've already done a few, so here, here's what they'll look like when they're finished. Pot it up. And um, I'll do a little bit of uh, pruning on top because I've done some root pruning and you need to be able to support the growth uh, and allow the roots to recover before having to support all that growth. So here we go. Okay, first we need to get this out of the pot. So we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna gently get this out. Has a ton of roots. Goodness gracious. And then we're going to massage these. And just shake and gently pull while you hold on to these guys and they'll start separating maybe you can see that they're starting to separate from one another and pull and there we have one all right two and three so this is ridiculous and I'm going to do some root pruning and remove some of these roots so it's easier to pot it up. Some of these were already really loose after pulling them apart. So. And I'm just recycling pots, nursery pots. So we're going to put a pretty good amount of soil. Oh, you can see that. A pretty good amount of soil. And then we'll put these guys in there. And I like to kind of shake it and get, get it around the roots really well. And it's low right now, but that's okay because I'm going to add more, hold on to this, and shake it. And as I shake it, I'm going to pull this to the level I want it, which is maybe one to two inches below this lip of the pot. So that way we can leave the dirt about an inch away and water it without getting water everywhere. So just shake it. That way the dirt gets incorporated back into the roots. Dirt, soil I should say, right? And I'm just using a potting mix from a big box store. So once you have it where you want it, I'm gonna press it in. Knock some of the holes down. It looks good. And 
and I'm going to water it and I'm going to do some pruning off the top because we just pulled off all these roots and we want to make sure they're able to support the green growth. So now I just need to do the rest of them. So again, put some soil. It's almost equivalent to potting up a bare root in that you need to get the soil packed in really well underneath. And these guys are done. I'll come back when I'm finished and uh, show you how much I prune off the top. Some of the roots you can use like a hori hori knife or some scissors or just pull it off
nine plants for the price of three. And we've just done a lot of damage to the roots. You, you can use something else to do this. I just, my hand pruners are out in the truck. Um, so it uses most energy around the tips to grow the tips. So you wanna cut the tips off of all of these. So it's not putting all that energy into those. And then these ones, I'll just cut down about the same length and then that one's done. Moving on to the next one. I can see most of my new growth is about there. So I'm just going to cut these off. And side note, another way to get new plants for free is you could root these if you wanted to. Um, that takes a long time. Um, sometimes I do that as well. So that one is done. There we go. And some of these I might try to topiary. Let's see. That one might be good for topiary. So we'll cut off all of them except that strong one. All the way down at the bottom. I think that's the thickest one. Okay. And we'll train this one as topiary. Just for fun. I didn't get those cut very far down. Now that I look at this, I think this may be two plants still. Oh well. Okay. And then I think I'll take this off and all these leaves. standard form just for fun maybe we'll do two of those oh let's cut the tips off too because that's where the energy is coming and we need the roots to grow for now okay so that one looks like that these guys look like these let's see any of these look good for topiary? Oh yeah, that one's got a really good strong one. Shears would probably be 
stand it up. Y'all, this is still multiple plants that we can pot up. So I'm gonna pot these up. All right, let's pot these up too. It's a it's a bare root right now. So use a smaller pot so you don't drown it. This is a, I don't know how big this is, maybe a trade half gallon or something, quart, I don't know, whatever it is. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing and shake it, make sure we get all the roots covered. forget to cut the tips off after you um, do that much root damage because it cannot it cannot support all that growth and this will help it recover faster there's another one this is two how many more plants do we have here this is wild This is crazy. So, these have huge roots. Let's go back over to my potting bench. Okay, so here's more. Let them, let them recover. And I wonder how many other boxwood are in here so from three plants I bought I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven shrubs and I probably could separate it down into more here's what we've got so these might be more than one and I just didn't notice it but They are. That's two at least. Wow. Crazy. So, here's what we have. And I'll update it and um, show you how they're doing once we warm up and everything starts growing. So, I'll water these guys in. I missed a spot. And um, leave them in a spot that is uh, mostly sun, but not it's not it's not hot here so the sun's not super hot so it won't burn them but uh thank you for watching and um see you next time